Well, welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, and today we're actually going to do one of my favorite books that I think uh, uh, it's a national bestseller, but few people uh, in the LDS community have taken some time to read. It is Jerusalem, the Biography, okay? Uh, and this is by Simon Montefiore, some French guy, okay? Now, I'm just going to say this is a four-star book. Fan freaking tastic, and I do think that it's a book that most uh, Latter Day Saints should probably read. This book uh, was a national bestseller, and once in a while you can find it at Costco for cheap. It's still very popular as a national bestseller. I've never seen it at Desert Book. I've never seen it at Desert Industries, but get it off of Amazon. It's soft cover. It's been around for a while. Okay, but this book covers Jerusalem from the beginning of Jerusalem, so we would say the Davidic reign, all the way through the modern era with the millennialists uh, and the rebuilding of Jerusalem uh, after, in the 1940s. Okay, here's the deal, guys. Like, this book gives phenomenal context on how complicated Jerusalem is. Not only does it give, like, political context, it's actually interesting. It's very well read. And it spans the thousands of years Jerusalem has been in existence and how it's always been the source of conflict. Where it's been conflict, why it's been in conflict at different times, who's claimed ownership, just this cascading of people coming in and wars and the Muslims coming in and the Christians coming in and the Jews coming in and then everyone having a challenge with it. Honestly, even the introduction, the very first thing you read is riveting about the fall of Jerusalem around 60 to 70 AD. Absolutely riveting. And from there, it just continues. If anything, it gets a little boring in how consistent it becomes about halfway through in that, okay, now I know that the Crusades are coming and now I know the Muslims are coming and taking over and they're going to demolish everything. But you also get phenomenal insight on what actually might even still be preserved and what might not be. Just because of the way they built city over on top of city, on top of city, on top of city. Uh, the next, every group coming in and taking over more cruel than the last just to demolish uh, any remnants. And then to see those moments where people actually collaborated cross faiths to build unity in those small, subtle moments in the history of Jerusalem. Honestly, it's a wonderful book. And if anything, as a member in the LDS community, you walk out better understanding the conflict that is in Jerusalem, but you also understand, uh, in a grander sense, the reality that there will never be peace in the Middle East until the Savior comes again. It is so remarkably complex and such a rich history there in Jerusalem um, that without someone coming of divine authority just to wipe the slate clean and say this is how it is, uh, you will get multiple people claiming divine authority to claim uh, those rights. So it is just magnificent. Again, I, I would recommend this to any Latter-day Saint. Uh, it's not a five-star book because it's not required to make you a better person. But it is a good, interesting, fun read, as well as educational, uh, and you'll get a lot out of it. And you'll get tons out of it uh, in the sense of fulfillment of prophecy, in the sense of understanding the prophecies of the Book of Mormon regarding Jerusalem, understanding the prophecies of Isaiah regarding Jerusalem. He doesn't address these here, but by understanding the context of what's happened historically in Jerusalem, you gain such remarkable insights in the rest of your studies. So I would just recommend this for every Latter-day Saint. Again, not required reading. I'm going to give it four stars. Well-written, well-researched. This is should be in everyone's library. Absolutely love it. Okay. Uh, thanks again for watching LDSBookReviews.com, and uh, stay tuned for more.